Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and welcome back to part 2 of the life size gremlin kit from Kyodo. Okay guys, if you haven't seen part one, there'll be a link to that in the description bar below. And then in that video, basically, uh, we took this kit uh, and we uh, basically got all the parts together and we had to form fill the insides uh, to make it nice and steady so there was no warp and later on. And then uh, we had to uh, epoxy resin glue the seams together and then sculpt over those seams. So there's plenty to uh, to catch up on if you haven't seen that. Uh, but if you have, or you're not really all that bothered about seeing this kit put together, uh, in this video we'll be uh, we'll be adding some base colours and then we'll be uh, painting up some details and hopefully, at the end of the video, we'll have a finished product or a finished piece to show off. So yeah, sit back and enjoy! <laughs> Okay guys, so now that we've gone ahead and we've given our gremlin a basic undertone flesh colour, we need to darken and dirty that up a little bit. So I've gone ahead and I've mixed some uh, medium brown acrylic with some water to make it like a wash. And I'm basically just going to apply it to all the key areas and I'm going to take some kitchen roll and I'm going to wipe away the excess and then once it's dry you should be able to see a lot more details. Okay guys, so for the next bit I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with the airbrush and I'm going to start layering on some of the, uh, some of the brown pattern.
Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with a uh, darker brown, which is a mahogany colour. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some olive green. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some uh, acrylic green and I'm going to do all the little dark areas. Okay guys, so now that that dark green is dry, for the next stage I'm going to go in with a black wash over the uh, over the green and uh, I've just watered down some black acrylic paint for that. So I'm just going to apply it on there again to all the little nooks and crannies and then I'm going to uh, take some uh, kitchen towel and then gently map up, uh, mop up the, uh, the excess to uh, highlight all the details.
wash is dried, I'm going to go in with some uh, soft cream, it's a tester pot, and I'm going to dry brush some, uh, some more of the lighter cream colours. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that to dry and I'm not going to go too into detail on these parts yet. I will top them up later on, but for the next part I need to go in and I need to add some darker uh, tones with some black from the airbrush. Uh, just getting some all the little tiny, tiny little crevices and stuff like that. Once that's done, then we can go back and we can top up all this area.
Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some more of this uh, soft cream and I'm going to go and I'm going to give these a base coat or a base layer uh, of all the uh, all the little uh, spikes. So I'm not going to do the fingernails and the toes because those are going to be black uh, but all these other ones that are on his body they're going to get uh, repainted different. Okay guys, this is going to take me quite a long time, so I'll tell you what, I'll uh, go ahead and I'll give all the areas a base coat and then I'll catch up with you at the next stage. One eternity later. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've, uh, I've given a base coat of uh, soft cream to all the little, uh, the little spiky areas. Or the bone areas, if you like. So uh, now that that's uh, been applied, the next stage is I'm going to go over them all with some brown watercolour and then we're going to leave it to dry. So now that they've all been given a simple coat of a brown watercolour, for the next part I've got some uh, brown acrylic on a rare palette and I'm just going to go in with a, uh, with a small stipple brush and I'm just going to uh, get some little bit of paint on there. I'm just going to go into all the little ends or the deep crevices on all the teeth and I'm just gonna dry brush some darker browns. Okay guys, this video is getting a little bit on the long side now, so I thought I'd call this one part two done. So please join us back for part three, where hopefully we'll get this uh, gremlin all finished and painted up and uh, ready to display. So if you've enjoyed this video so far, please smash that like button and share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps me and people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you for your help. If you have any comments, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is the 1 to 1 scale vinyl kit of the Gremlin from Kyodo. See you next time.